Hello, cozy friends. We get to play Botany Manor today. I'm so excited. This has been one of those games. It has like spoken to my soul as a cozy gamer. I feel like it's 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 appealed to a lot of us. I'm sure a lot of you love plants and flowers and gardens and just something about an English countryside manor like speaks to you because that's how I feel. That's how I feel. And I just want to explore around, solve puzzles and grow plants. That sounds fantastic. Sounds Perfect. So let's start. Let's just start. Let's get into it. And this is just a demo that I was given access to through Wholesome Games and through the dev. Just keeping in mind, it's a de it's a little demo, a little preview of like the first couple bits. Look how beautiful. So I did get to play part of this demo at GDC this this past I forget when it was April March. Um, the Game Developers Conference in SF, and I loved it. I loved it so much. It it. I made a TikTok about it because it surprised me so much because I just wasn't expecting it to be so puzzle-based. I don't know. I, I wasn't expecting it to be so puzzle-based. Thought it was just kind of passively growing plants and the puzzles in it really like really got me going. I loved it. It was so much fun. Dear Arabella Green, thank you for submitting your book proposal, The Forgotten Flora to Mayflower Publishing House. We're very intrigued. In this parcel, you can find an empty herbarium. Please send it back to us once you've filled all the pages and we'll be in touch. Sincerely, William Ansford. The Forgotten Flora and Herbarium by Arabella Green. One, fresh start. Two, survivors of adversity, peculiar petals. Okay, so these are just, this is going to be what we're filling up throughout our time here, I see. Look how beautiful, you guys. The light, like the lighting in this is unreal and I love how this one's kind of like a little a little hazy little morning haze oh it's beautiful okay we continue it's beautiful windmill wart I want to grow the windmill wart to filter the smoggy air in my conservatory but I'll need to research its temperature requirements first Cecilia Postcard from Sicily. Oh, I can rotate. Okay. Dearest Arabella, on my hike. This is this one is one that I did, and the next flower is the one that I did. I, so I don't know if the demo goes beyond that, but either way, I loved it so much that I want to replay it with y'all. So we'll see. On my hike, I came across the windmill wort, a flower that only grows in Sicily. Some locals told me the flower has air purifying qualities, but due to its bespoke temperature requirements, that plant rarely blooms. Maybe the flower could help with the smog pollution in your conservatory? Oh, so the haziness is the smog pollution. I was like, oh, the haze is so cute. It's literally because it's there's smog pollution okay and then we look over here we we see what do we see mediterranean wildflowers okay we've got sicily and we've got wait did it say did this one say volcanic i feel like it would be volcanic right Windmill wart to filter smoggy air. Oh, windmill wart, volcanic flower. There we go. Okay. Um, so we know that it's volcanic. So this row, and we know that it's from, Sis from Sicily. So 60 degrees Celsius. What does this say? Okay. Oh, oh, it's giving us context for the smog. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, here we go. Let's fix it. 60 degrees. Oh, wrong way. Oh, okay. So it's 60 degrees. We've got the seed. We Do we scoop? Okay, scoop soil. Oh, can we plant the seed? Okay, we water. And is it the right conditions? I think so, right? Right, did we do it? I don't know, did we do it, y'all? It didn't grow, it didn't bloom. Okay, let me check again. Volcanic, volcanic Sicily. 60 degrees. Maybe I maybe I did it out of order. Like maybe if I go, what if I do this? Oh, 
Oh, here? Oh, open heat vent. Wow, the fact I literally did this before and I didn't remember that. <laughs> Yay! Look at it go, look at it go, it's so pretty. And all the smog is gone. Look how pretty it is. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Oh, I was supposed to be filling in clues, by the way. I was supposed to be filling in clues. I don't remember how I was supposed to be filling in clues. Oh, here we go. So we've got the postcard, we've got the temperature chart, we've got the wildflowers, and the newspaper. So then you got all the clues you need, so you know when you have all the clues you need. And you can do your little flower, you can grow it. Look how pretty this is now. Oh my gosh, it's just, it's beautiful. They've outdone themselves. I just wanna sit here, like I just wanna, I'm okay here, thank you. Is that Wisteria? Beautiful, I'll just, I'm good here, you can leave me here. I can manage, I'll eat, I'll, I'll nibble on some flowers and shrubs, I'll be fine. I'll live off sunlight, photosynthesize like the plants that I grow. I'm fine here, thanks. I want this in my house. I don't have a house, but if I had a house, I would want this greenhouse in it. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at the bird. Look at the bird house. Or the bird, the bird bath. The bird house is just water. It's so pretty, the trees, the colors of the trees, the hydrangeas, roses. Look, I get to walk on this pretty path. What's in there? Ooh, we get a little peek, a little peeky peek into the manor. Do y'all see what I mean when I say you can get lost in this place? Like, there's so much, this, it won't let us out here. Surely, no? Like, there's so many possible places you can go. Like, what's over here? That's where I came from. Okay. <laughs> and I just can't wait. I can't wait for the whole thing. But I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Makes me so happy. You know when a game just hits your hits your happy bone? <laughs> hits you in the happy place. Like what? Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Look how beautiful. The books. I think I would want for nothing if I had this in my home. I I mean even a fraction of this. If I just had this little this 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 section, just that little section right there. I I would never want for anything else. Look at it. There's so many places to go explore. Looks like some things we Look, it's blocked off, but I know we can oh, Look, you can see the gazebo in the distance. Oh my god, or is that like a like a top of a building? I can't tell. Either way, I am excited. It's just, like, come on. Come on, I want this as like a wallpaper, like a desktop wallpaper. <laughs> please. Bonnie Manor devs, please release desktop wallpapers, please. And moving, moving wallpapers. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, you've done enough. This is phenomenal. This is such a pretty room. This is such a pretty room. Is it like a little plant, like potting room? I'm gonna scream. Okay. Okay, we've got a new plant, I think. Or we're going to have a new plant. <gasps> we're in the manor! Survivors of adversity. Oh my gosh, you guys. We've got a new one. We've got a new one. Fulguria. I came across the Fulguria when I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm. I'm interested to learn more about its growth requirements. I remember this one. This one is really fun and I would not have been able to figure it out without um, the dev there with me while I was doing it. I literally would not have been able to figure it out. And I might still, look and there's so many rooms in the manor, right? That are locked, but that we can probably go into and explore. And this huge tree in the manor, like what? <laughs> okay, so we've got a pot. Let's put our Fulgaria in. Okay, so she's in there. She's, let's water her. Okay. 
So she's she's water, she's ready to go. But she just needs the right conditions. <gasps> we have access to this room. Okay, okay, okay. So we have a bunch of we have a bunch of chemicals. Cute little patio out there. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. How did someone go enter into my mind and figure out exactly what I wanted in a English countryside manner? Okay. Botanical folk tales. Some ancient Celtic tribes practiced Celtic. Do y'all say Celtic or Celtic? Tribes practiced the coming of age ritual. This meant that when someone was considered old enough, it was time to prove themselves worthy of staying in the tribe. One of these rituals required one to pick a flower in the woods, though not just any flower, of course. One had to find a fulguria because these flowers are known to only grow during thunderstorms. Keeping a cool head while lightning flashes were striking left and right of you was considered to be the ultimate proof of courage. Okay. Okay, so we've got folklore book. We've got our folklore book. We know that it grows in a thunderstorm. Your lumen flash lamp instructions. Fill the container with flash powder. Close the container. Press the button connected to the camera and the lumen flash lamp lamp witness a bright flash so this part i actually connected i was like oh flash lightning duh okay so we do know we can simulate the lightning strike with a camera flash instead but how do we make the camera work Lady Arabella, these past weeks i've been seeing lots of bright flashes coming from the back room of your house it scares my cows immensely as they think a storm must be coming see my milk production has taken a hit because of this, and if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I would advise you to keep the flashes to a minimum. Thank you, Charles. Again, there's there's the hint that gives us kind of the connection if you didn't make it yourself. That's the connection. And then here we have flash powder. What is it made out of? Potassium and magnesium, a two to one ratio. Okay, so we've got a f an empty flash powder, two to one ratio, so we can make our own flash powder, methinks. Let me see if we missed any clues. We only have two more clues left. I think the flash, plow flash powder, there we go, flash powder bottle's one. We're missing one and I think it was over near the start. I think it was something we should've sheen earlier here we go dark photograph look it there it is it's blooming with the flash what a mystery we've uncovered okay now we have all of our clues no one can stop us okay potassium magnesium two to one ratio i hope that was it i hope it wasn't the other way around let's go potassium boop Oh no! Okay, so we're gonna throw that away. I did not mean to do that. So sorry, friends. Potassium. One, two. There we go. Okay, let's hope we don't blow ourselves up because I wasn't reading the bottle correctly. Let's see. Okay, good, two to one ratio. Okay, y'all. Wait, I gotta bring the plant over. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, our plant is so far over there. I'm sorry, plant, I'm coming for you, I'm coming. I just left you in the hallway like you're nothing. Come on, baby, come on. Like, how cozy, and look at this room. Don't you just wanna sit here and grow plants all day? You wanna sit here and grow plants all day with me? Like, so cute. God. Okay, I'm gonna put my baby right here. She's nice and watered. Ready to go, rear in, ready to go. Okay, putting that there. Closing that. Ah! Yay! We did it! <laughs> we did it, we did it. Why does it say we haven't filled all the right clues? Oh, I, I did two at once, okay. okay let's, let's fix this, there we go, dark. Dark photograph. Dark. 
dark photo. There we go. Yay! That was the end of the demo. Okay, that's so that's the same demo that I did at GEC, and I'm just so glad that I got to do it with y'all too. So you can see the beauty of this game. It's so beautiful. I love it. I'm so excited for it. I literally could do this non like if somebody created an endless, infinite amount of these puzzles and these plants to go through, I would play it for the rest of my life. I think this is just the perfect like this is a perfectly crafted game. It is a perfectly crafted game. And I don't say that often. I really don't say that often. I think it is just a perfect game. The The environment is so cozy, so beautiful. It makes me like just feel homey and at home and comforted and, and, and like appreciating the beauty. And then just the like pacing of the puzzles I think is so good. And, and it keeps you engaged, but it's challenging because the first time I did it, I, like I had to think of it and y'all saw even the first puzzle, I had done it already and I had already forgot and I needed to look around and figure things out. Like the potential, and I know the dev said that it gets harder and harder as you go. Like it, the puzzles get more complex. There's more steps and more stages. I just can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Ah, Y'all definitely wish this on Steam just to show support. I don't know. You got to show support for the devs and the games that we're excited about. Um, but also just you, you can get notified as soon as it's out. That's all, y'all. Thank you for playing through this with me. Thank you for hearing me gush about it. I love this game. I will continue to gush about it. I love you. Stay cozy. Bye.